نصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد We're going to start the book, the first, the Arabic uh, reader, the first part of it. Um, and I want everyone to recite this dua after me. Allahumma rabbi yassir, wa la tu'assir, wa tammim bil khair, wa bika nasta'een. Ya fattahu, ya fattahu, ya fattahu. Rabbi zidni ilma. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Lesson one. Ad-Darsul awwal. Lesson one. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the word hadha. The word hadha. Hadha means this. Hadha means this. So see... As we go through this page, there's going to be words in Arabic, vocabulary words, that you will have to keep in mind, as well as the actual word itself. So the lesson is about the word hada, this. And then throughout the lesson, there will also be vocabulary words. Hada baytun. Hada baytun. This is a house. Hada baytun. This is a house. Notice. That every, every single word default comes with two dhammas. I don't know why this is. Hmm. So for example, the word we have here is baitun, right? Baitun. The end is called Dhammatain. This right here is called Dhammatain. Two Dhammas. Tun. This is the default. Every word ends with two Dhammas. Unless it has a reason to not end with two Dhammas. We have not learned any of those reasons yet. But for now, keep in mind, the default is two Dhammas. This is default. Because that is, that's, the, that's like the normal state. It will always have two dhammas. Unless it has a reason to not have two dhammas. You got a better word? Yeah, default meaning <laughs> default means that that's the that's the that's the main that's the main haraka that's the main. Yeah. 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 Think of it the way you want to think of it, but this is what I'm trying to say that okay. it's always yeah. dumbate, right? They will always have the right, unless it has a reason to not have dumbate. Okay. So the first sent the first the uh, the first picture shows a house, right? Hada baytun. Hada this. Baytun house. This is a house. Remember, you have to memorize these vocabulary words as we're going along. So baytun means house. Hada masjidun. This is a masjid. Hada masjidun. This is a masjid. Hada babun. This is a door. Hada kitabun. Kitabun. This is a book. Hada qalamun. This is a pen. Hada qalamun. This is a pen. Hada miftahun. This is a key. Hada maktabun. This is a desk. This right here? Maktabun. This is a desk. Hada sarirun. This is a bed. And then, Hada kursiyun. This is a chair. This is today's lesson. Now, look at the board. So, we have the word 
هذا right equals this this is the main part of today's lesson that this is هذا okay now we learned a couple of words we learned we learned baytun baytun right here baytun is house we learned masjid masjid you already know masjid is masjid right we learned kitabun kitabun means book right everyone can see this right okay we learned miftahun miftahun means key we learned qalamun qalamun means pen in the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says noon wal qalami wa ma yasturun i swear by the pen and what they write with it wal qalami wa ma yasturun this is qalam It's the first verse of Surah Qalam. Then we learned Maktabun. Maktabun. That means desk. Then we learned Sarirun. Sarirun. That means bed. And then we learned kursiyun and that means chair anything else right and then babun is door door maktab what desk that's in that's that's in urdu mm, that's in urdu no not arabic in urdu maktab is office mm. <laughs> no no okay yeah in urdu maktab is office acha so everyone got these words down right you have kitabun miftahun qalamun maktabun sarirun kursiyun book key pen desk bed and chair right Everyone clear with this? Can we move on? Now we're going to make these sentences, right? We're going to put them together now. Acha ji. Hada is this, right? I want each and every single one of you to give me one word. So you will give me one of these new Arabic words, translate it for me and I'll write it down. So tell me a sentence. This is a whatever. which means this is a pen hada qalamun this is a pen hada qalamun this is a pen acha now this is a pen in english there's an is right that is does not exist in arabic there's no is right do you see the is there's no is hada qalamun is two words this and pen but when you put them together it becomes this is a pen so in arabic the is is hidden there is no word for is but the sentence when it's created and translated into english you add the is see because in english without the is the sentence won't make sense this pen right but in arabic this pen means this is a pen that's why okay next make a sentence hada maktabun this is a desk brother yusuf
which means this is a book. Excellent. Hada kitabun. This is a book. Acha. And then one more, Brother Walid. Hada babun. This is a door. This is a door. Clear? Now, everyone turn the page to page four. We're going to learn one more thing. I don't want you to look at the whole page. Just look at the top, the title. What's in red? What does it say in red? It says, Mahada. That's it. Now you can close your books. Don't, 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 don't look in the book now. Mahada. Look at the board. Ma equals what? No. What? What? No. So what does mahada mean? What do you think mahada means? What is this? What is this? Right? No. So now we learned how to ask a question and we learned how to give the answer. Mahada, what is this? Hada? Kalamun. Excellent. What is this? This is a pen. So now we have four students. You are going to ask Brother, uh, Brother Muhammad. You're going to ask Brother Walid. You're going to give an answer. You're going to give an answer and then vice versa. So Bismillah. Ask him, what is this? Hada. Not hadhi. Right. Hada. Qalamun. Excellent. Now, reverse it. So you ask him something. Ask him what is this and you give the answer. Excellent. Hada? Mif? Remember how in Surah Fatiha we were doing an amta? Same concept. Miftahun. Miftahun. Everyone repeat it. Miftahun. Excellent. So we've gotten it, right? Acha. <laughs> now I'm going to write a series of sentences. For one, one, one per person, and you have to translate. Okay? So everyone look at the board. This is for you, Brother uh, Shahid. Yes. This is for you. Just read it. Just tell me what it says and translate it. This is a chair. Excellent. Now, let's get rid of the kursi. Brother Muhammad, this is for you. The door. Ba-bun. Ba right. Ba Excellent. Ba-bun. Okay. Two down. <laughs> now this is, this is for you, brother, uh, Dr. Yusuf. Mahada. Now translate. Mahada, what is this? Hada masjid. This is mosque. This is a mosque. Excellent. And finally, Brother Walid, this one is for you. What is this? 
Hmm. This is a key. Excellent. So has everyone understood today's lesson? Let's go overview now. The overview of today's lesson was we started with these words. Kitabun, miftahun, qalamun, maktabun, sarirun, kursiyun. I remember I told you in the beginning, I don't worry too much about vocabulary because vocabulary will come as you learn Arabic. That doesn't mean you don't learn vocabulary at all. You have to know some words, right? So these easy words, make sure you memorize at least these words. But don't, don't, don't feel let down if you can't say what carpet is in Arabic or you can't say what fan is. Because you're going to learn it eventually. Right? Don't beat yourself up about it. But at least know the easy words. So today, right, so today we had Baytun, Kitabun, Miftahun, Qalamun, Maktabun, Sarirun, Kursiyun. What is this? Seven? Seven words. Eight words. And then Babun. This is Babun right here, right? This one. Acha. We also learned that Hada means this. Right? Hada means this. And then we learned that every word's default is Dhammatain. Two Dhammas. Right? So whenever you say a sentence, this is a man. In Arabic, man is Rajulun. Hada Rajulun. You see the Un? That's called Dhammatain. Default. Every word default, Dhammatain. Right? Right. Every word, the default is Dhammatain. Every single word. The last letter, yes. Right, the last letter. Right, Dopish. Right. Then we learned how to put the sentences together. Hada qalamun, hada maktabun, hada kitabun. This is a pen, this is a desk, this is a book, this is a door, etc. And then finally we learned ma. Ma means? What? So, ma hada? What is this? Alhamdulillah. For tomorrow's homework, or for Monday, uh, Monday's homework, I want everyone to create for me five answers to Mahada. So, the, Mahada. What is this? What is this? And then you write. Five different answers. Five different answers. Okay? Basically. But simple sentences. This is a blank. This is a blank. I don't want any crazy out of nowhere stuff. Yeah? Just this is a blank. Period. Okay? Everyone clear about that? <laughs> Using those seven words, yes. I mean, if you know other Arabic words, Bismillah, put them in. But don't change the format. I told you, vocabulary is not the main thing. The main thing, I want Mahada Hada blank. Mahada Hada blank. That's it. Simple sentences. Everyone got it? Any any questions, inshallah? Right, so mahada is the question, and then just give as many hada, blank, hada, blank, hada, blank, as many as you can, and translate. You don't have to write them, because we're still learning how to write Arabic, but just memorize them, practice them. On Monday, just say them. Inshallah. And these five words, what did we discuss today, out of those also? Yeah, of course, yeah. M mainly out of those words. If you know other words, Bismillah, go ahead. But I don't want the format to change. I want it to stay... What is this? This is a blank. Okay. Nothing besides that. Mahada. Right. <laughs> Any questions? Oh, Alright, inshallah. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruka Allahumma wa 